take everything you got. Sacramento, they thought it was in here, but I'm telling you it's not. Flotty said if we don't have home court dance, we won't win. What? Flotty, are you stupid? I'll tell you time again. You need to go when they know your name. And the Lakers, we know how to play the game. You said that we would win at your place. Guess what? Kobe Duncan in your face. You need to go where people know your name. You see that star tech? <laughs> Making the game in the world today takes every ref you got. <laughs> Cheating your championship, making bad calls, sure would help a lot. <laughs> Sacramento, we got the cowbells. And those Lakers can't go to... No, anyway, welcome back to Players Only. That was Shaq doing his... Uh... Anyway, we don't want to talk about that. What you see that phone? Shaq? You see that phone? Yeah, old school phone. Old school phone. What, what was your first phone? Was it a brick phone or a flip phone? Oh, brick phone. You had the brick phone? Dope man, dope man. You had the brick phone? Yeah, I had the brick phone. The gray one with the extra fat battery. You would have had to have that in 9, 8, 9, 10, no. 11th grade. With the court with the 89. antenna? Okay. What was it? Yeah, At, big antenna. LSU 10. has its benefits. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say 89. Oh, 89. 15, 89. I had one. Chris <laughs> had one and Stan had one. And Vernell Singleton had one, too. Now, so who did you use to call on that thing? Like, nobody. <laughs> but it was the best for front, just, wasn't it? It was just there. It had the suitcase with the uh, cord, too? Yeah, I had all that. Yeah, yeah. that was, that was a that. nice one. And I had a Bronco, too. Oh, oh. Remember that song? B stands for Bronco, Ben, Via, W, V, Fan, Thaw, the Cat, that I found. You fit in the Bronco? No, no, no. I ain't that good. I was small. But I look good, though. Candace Young, she don't know nothing about none of that. She is more than 2013. We don't even know what y'all talking about. Y'all over there mumbling. I had a picture. We can't understand nothing y'all saying. Y'all over there mumbling. And BD writing. What are you writing? I was just trying to care time. Oh, okay. Anyway, this is Players Only. Welcome. I'm Ernie Johnson, Shaquille O'Neal, wow. Kenny to Jeff Smith, and Charles Barkley. Hey, Let's now. get right into it. We know the Davis trade dominated news we're today. In pajamas? What was that? Hey, he's part of the Turtleneck Club. Yeah, AD, he got the memo today. Way to put yeah, that hot yeah. turtleneck on in Houston. Dressing like you live in LA, don't he, BD? Yeah, he is. BD. Oh, Harden. Dip, did he do that? Nobody's stopping this kid. I mean, one of the most prolific scorers, I think, in NBA history. Got him. Ah. VD, they say he would be boring to play with. Would, would you have liked to play with a guy that dominated the ball as much, even though you were the point guard? No, I would like to play with Harden, because, you know, especially in a system like D'Antoni, it's just like you're just taking turns. And when you got somebody like that who can get money oh. and create money for other people, it just makes sense. That, I think that's a big reason why Chris Paul has been effective, is he don't okay. have to show them the load a lot. Yeah, you know, Shaq, Okafor was the overall number three pick by Philly in 2015. He averaged 18 and 7 as a rookie. You're going to see him in this game right now running the lane. Do you think guys like that can get their game back once they find a good spot? I think they can get their game back, definitely get their confidence back. He's been, you know, floating around from team to team, but now that Anthony Davis is gone, I think he's averaging 21 points getting the field. And look, you just got to play the game. You know, he's not really a jump shooter, so move the ball like that, pass it, you know, run the floor, get easy dunks. When you get, you get your opportunity, get your number called in the post, make a strong move, barbecue chicken alert, play your game. And that can get you 21 points. That's what he's been doing. That's exactly what he's been doing. How about that? The knockdown. New Orleans that. up. Look at that. You see a player go down. You don't like to see that. How about see? this? Okafor again. Run, big dog run. How about that for the Duncan? How about a family of basketball royalty? That's the holiday. Holidays. They are the UCLA, baby. Yeah, and then again, Candace, you're a ball handler. You get down with the pick and roll. Shooting this far deep, can you just speak about how nice this man Harden is? Just as a defender, having to pick up just inside half court and then not being able to really play with your hands as a def defender because he uses his body so well and draws Oh, now you want to coach. Oh, now he coaches. Coach. Yeah, I'm part of his team now. I mean, I want to be traded, but what happened was, oh, yeah, 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 I got to do this anyway. Yeah, 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 you ain't going to be here. Look, next look at this replay, y'all. Now, whose fault is hey, this? Dog, Harden's, the funny. refs, or this the game? This is the funniest play i ever seen in my life. <laughs> but he was expecting <laughs> it. That means he got that call before. I don't see it now. Okay, no, I didn't see that. I just saw offensive push off on that play. Coach D'Antoni fighting for every call. How's that not a foul? He 30, can get 32, it. 32 shots, though. 11, a lot. 
You know, he's 30, trying to get 40. Seven, well, I mean, he has to do what he has to do, but. You know, it's, it's one of those things. It's like, is he going to get shots? 40? Is he going to get 40? Are you talking about his efficiency? Ms. No, Parker? I'm just simply saying. Oh, okay. Well, he's 30, a ball home. That's a lot of that, shots. <laughs> see, you guys are putting words in my mouth. You got that triple green light, don't you? Yeah. Right. Oh, man. Ooh. Welcome back, CP3. And welcome back, Ja Rule. Okay, that's the nickname we're going to give him. Check it out. The first 27 games, he only got eight plus minutes. Of course, with Anthony Davis out and maybe gone, his time is going to go up a while. He was shooting 52% from the field. I shoot 75%. Wow. That man's a good player. He won a national play. championship. Yeah. He's a skilled big man. He has a basketball IQ. I think sometimes guys like that get stuck in purgatory, where you're on a team like New Orleans, where you're playing behind, you know, Anthony Davis. Uh, you know, you're playing behind a Cousins the year before. Uh, you know, in, in Philly, they never gave you a shot because yeah. you're behind and beat. So somebody like this kid, he can play. He just has to be in the right situation. And that's all it's about, finding the right situation no matter who you are or how your game is. So it is good to see guys like that get a second chance and do their thing. How about the... Well, I want to talk about Greg Anthony's code again. That is funny. But uh, we caught up with AD. And think about the AD trade. I mean, when you think about all that's been talked about, uh, let's start with you, Candice. When you think about all that's been talked about, what do you think is the final, your final stamp on this whole AD situation? Well, I think it'll be something that they're going to have to deal with the rest of the season. I think the question is whether he doesn't play. I mean, he's sitting out for, for a finger fracture right now. And they said one to two weeks at the time. So as the Pelicans, do you sit him down for the rest of the season? I mean, that's my final thing. I, he wants to be traded. He's going to be out of here. If I'm the Pelicans, I wait. But do you sit him for the rest of the season or? Huh? Wait. Uh, no, I'm asking. No, I'm asking a question. Well, well me, what? if I'm Pelicans and the guy who wants to be traded, we, we got to You got to get rid got, of it. You got to move him. Got to get move him, but we're going to get some pieces for him. You know, I'm not just going to let him walk away. At the end of this year, Man, so. sit, 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 you go to the Lakers? Yeah, but sitting a superstar down for the rest of the season, like, he's not going to want to sit. He's not going to even want to be around. If you don't trade this man, he's not going to want to be around your team for the rest of the but season. But your best it? trade is Boston, and Boston can't trade for you until the summer. Yeah, but I don't think he wants Why to go to Boston. Why is that the best trade? I don't think he wants to go to L.A. But for the Pelicans, you're looking out for yourself. In the summer, can he be a free agent? Get Kuzma, uh, you can get summer. Ingram. Uh, and as a teammate, though, if you guys have been here in leadership roles, whether it was you that may have been leaving or whether it was other players that were around, do you guys think that your teammate should address it to you as a, as a team? Or do you think he went to his boys and they understand, like, Drew, you know I'm up out of here, man. I'll I see you in La La Land. What do you guys oh, yeah, think that sure. his role should be? You, 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 know, you know the players know, right? Because you know, this has been something that's been talked about even coming into the season. And so him being committed to the team and playing hard and then seeing where their record is, you can feel it, right? You can feel it with the media pressure, with the media attention. And then you know he got homeboys on the team where he's like, yeah, I'm frustrated. Like, why am I even in? Like, he's stuck. He's stuck in a no man's land in a city where it's not really a basketball city and with an organization that's not really trying to make the uh, proper progression to make things around him better. They're not going to spend the money. So it's all a wild card. If I'm Anthony Davis, go to my teammates, y'all homie, yeah. this is what it is. I love y'all, but I got to bounce. And again, when he signed with Rich Paul and Clutch Sports, you knew it was going to happen. But you know, he, he's, a, he's a good kid, so I, in, in my opinion, I think he came in and he wanted to be there, he wanted to play, but since it's not working well now, now I want to be moved, let's make some noise and see what can happen. But, you know, uh, New Orleans, they're, they're in control. And again, if I'm getting rid of my guy, I'm going to get some good pieces, some good young pieces so we can rebuild and start all over. And that's the thing, you know, I think it's a lot of wasted years in, in everybody's career, years where you're on a team that don't have a shot at winning, years you're giving your best numbers, your best energy, and then, you know, someone that can honestly look back and say, oh, these last seven years, Anthony Davis has done nothing. That's not the truth, yeah. but that's the narrative they like to paint on the guy when, as, as if he should have the responsibility of the GM, the coach, and all others. And I think he's done his job, and you might might as well ask for wherever you want to go, but hopefully you don't get a team this Players Only Halftime Report presented by American Express. Now, usually we don't come in with highlights of the losing team, but the Lakers have been making a run with a few highlights. Oh, Ooh. oh yeah. Don't look at them. Don't you look at them. No, don't look at them. Yeah, don't look at them. Don't em. stand over them. <laughs> yeah. Where's Khalifa looking? <laughs> <laughs> he got beads at the end. Khalifa. I see you with the beads you know? here. Uh, welcome to Players Only. I'm Chris Webber. We got Shaq, Candace Parker, and my man, V. 
D. So what's going on, guys? When you look at the first, when you look at the first half of this game, uh, actually we can look at some of these plays. When you see a young team with, like the Lakers and they don't have LeBron James there, Candace, and you see the start of a game like this, if, if you're the coach or teammate. What do you say to your players, and why is this going on? Well, this looks like a team that hasn't had a ball handler with them. I mean, Rajon Rondo missed time. Lonzo Ball's out with an ankle injury. LeBron's been out for 16 games. So when the head of your offense has been out, you know, you're going to turn the ball over. But they were just giving the ball away. I'd have to disagree with my good friend Candace. This right here is just a lack of focus, because after we get rid of these highlights, we're going to show highlights when they start focusing, they start making the plays. No, we're all professional. We all can play. And all coaches say the same thing. You guys are just not listening. Playing against the 76ers, LeBron's not out. Some of these guys should be auditioning because when they come back, they're going to have to start tightening it up. A trade might be made. You know, so guys yeah. need to start auditioning and playing out. That right there was just a lack of focus. I, First I, play of the game, you can't turn it over. I wanted to say, like, it, could it be uh, the lack of focus? Could that be because of all the stuff that we're hearing today, right? Right. But, you know, the Anthony Davis trade rumors and you know, them getting off to a, a, a slow start when you have a young team like that, usually they're in their head, right? Because they think they're going to be traded. Yeah, because, yeah. like, you showing up to and the that's game, why you're you know, supposed to step up. Yeah, yeah. You you're right. Up, yeah, so I'm next. Yeah, yeah you got to step up. Now, that's not the way you start, but I think as they got into the flow, they kind of, you, you know, when you start playing, you kind of lose that mentality, and you got to get back to playing basketball. But so could, it, could it also be that the ball's in the wrong people's hands? I mean, what? you see Josh Hart with the ball in his hands trying to make plays as opposed to... You know, these guys are used to having made finishing plays and yeah. not having to make them. I mean, but they're down, they're playing in L.A., and we all know how the L.A. fans are. They're getting back in the game right there. Oh. Mike, Mike Penn birthday with right. the two-handed jam. Yeah. They're really going they to come up. Yeah, and they're uh, focused. The Let me ask you something, with great Shaq. energy. Shaq, you played in two cities that were temptations for teammates, and that was Miami and the Lakers. Did the great Lakers team ever say, this team is coming in tonight, or did you say, this team is coming in tonight? I know that they went out last night. We need to start early and get off to a 10-point lead because then they won't come back. Or in Miami, both well, places, detentions for players. It also depends on your plan. When you're playing against a great team that really has championship aspirations, like, you guys never went out. So, like, we would definitely worry about y'all. But the young teams, we know they was going out. You know how I knew? Uh -huh. When I went out, I saw them. <laughs> <laughs> so I knew who was out and who was not. And, you know, the Lakers, again, they just, they were, they were not mentally ready. And, you know, once the crowd started getting into the game and LeBron started talking, you know, making faces and stuff like that, their, their concentration and their focus was a little bit better, and they're starting to get back in the game. But, you know, Philly cannot lose this game today. Yeah. Against the LeBronless Lakers, you got to get that win. No. Yeah. C-Web, you're not going to put Cleveland in that mix of, of going, going out, out late at night? <laughs> no, uh, no, nobody went nah, out in Cleveland? they went no. to the movies. Uh, the okay, I was, <laughs> my bad. The coaches I'm love confused. Cleveland. Confused. Like, I see you at 6 o'clock practice. They're like, all right, all right. You got in Cleveland, go right to the airport. Listen, so, <laughs> 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 I was living in Cleveland, Sorry, Cleveland. Went out three times and I didn't see nothing. <laughs> <laughs> they ain't even had no hey, hookah bar. Did you, you see them midgets? They had things called midgets in midgets? Cleveland. What's that? They like uh, like a million gnats. It was like a like a million gnats just hanging on buildings. That was the most interesting thing I seen in Cleveland. <laughs> <laughs> <The> midgets. He <laughs> uh, do look like Wiz. Yeah, he look like uh, he look like Tiger too. Tiger <laughs> with the dunk. A little bit with him. <laughs> you look like Wiz. Oh, man. We'll be back Not with up, more. You boy. on the American Express halftime report. We'll tell you who more people look like. We know all their twins. I've never seen you out with Wiz in my life. Welcome. Welcome back to Fan <laughs> Zone. Mr. Vegas, I hope you are listening, G.A. Matter of fact, I know you are. I just want to throw a couple Let's things out to you, G.A. G. <laughs> Gary oh, Davis. Got a now. <laughs> hold on, G.A. We got a button now. Yeah, hold on. <laughs> Baron oh, Davis said you mouth. look like the black man on the penny that got rejected. <laughs> Baron Davis said you cut your suit coat out of a car of an old pimp Cadillac. <laughs> and Candace said you look like a Rick James backup singer. <laughs> <laughs> Give it to me, baby. Give it to me, baby. <laughs> so, wait, hey, Jimmy, why you laughing so hard, Jimmy? Wait, wait, wait a minute. Hey, man. I wanna. I know C. Webb that caught a few comments tonight. Oh, they've been killing me. That's why I'm glad they oh, killed yeah. me. Because Candace said well, he's trying to join the then. NFL Hall of Fame. Hey, hey, he got, hey, he got that pimp pistol. He got that pimp pistol jacket. Is that golden? Hey, you have to let this to me. Oh, the golden ticket. Hold on, hold on.
Thank you for wearing that outfit, G.A. You let me get away with this turtleneck, and I'm oh, hot in the studio. Hey, hey, G.A., don't let him talk you out of that, dog. Right. Bring well, that one back. Hold on. I ain't worried about this it. next I gotta, time, I don't I gotta, do the red pin strikes with it. Maroon one next week. And wear that vest. You know it's a vest with that. <laughs> I ain't wearing a vest this time. I'm going to have a maroon one next week. You look like week. a gold Charlie. singer cane. <laughs> <laughs>